Modifiers let you cross-sell menu items, helping you increase your revenue and profit. With SawPod, you can manage item modifiers from your POS, so you can easily find or remove any modifier that's linked to a particular menu item whenever you want to. In this video, we'll learn how to identify and manage menu modifiers in SawPod. Let's begin. First, log in to your SawPod account. Go to Setup and select Menu Setup. Click on the Modifiers tab. Find a particular modifier from the list or use the search field to type in the modifier you want to find. For example, extra cheese. Click Manage to see the menu items linked to extra cheese. Here you can see two menu items, cheeseburger and cheeseburger meal. If you would like to remove extra cheese as a modifier for cheeseburger or cheeseburger meal, click Remove. However, if extra cheese belongs to a modifier group with minimum or maximum conditions, go to Menu Items and search for the menu item you want to edit. For example, cheeseburger meal. Click Edit. Scroll down to Item Modifiers. There you'll see the modifier groups linked to cheeseburger meal. Click on the Settings icon and change the group limits. Click OK and you may now remove extra cheese as a modifier for cheeseburger meal. Click Update to save your changes, and make sure to click Refresh POS and Online Menu afterward. You can also delete item modifiers by going to the Modifiers tab in Menu Setup and clicking on their respective Delete button. To reflect the changes on your SawPod Online Menu, go to Setup, SawPod Add-ons, then select SawPod Online Settings. Click on Synchronize tab, then Save. If you are using SawPod Connect, go to Setup, Location Setup, SawPod Connect. Make sure to sync your menu on each aggregator platform. And there you have it. You've just learned how to identify and manage menu modifiers for SawPod POS. Make sure to check out our video on creating modifiers in SawPod. Want to learn more? Click on the link in the description below to book a demo.